Rated T for Teen. In the case of Rock Band 1 and 2, those games inspired a lot of people uh, who got a, a taste of what it feels like to make music through the game to then step away from their game consoles and actually pick up real instruments and, and start studying. Um, I think part one of the goals of Rock Band Pro is, uh, is actually to start to cultivate real musicianship within the game itself. In order to develop new gameplay, we've gone pretty heavy into Rock Band Pro and develop two new peripherals uh, that we're calling a button guitar, which is a simulation of a real guitar with buttons on the neck that simulate the string and fret intersection. It allows you to make the same left hand guitar shapes that you normally, uh, that you would make playing a real guitar. Um, so it's, it's a pretty good simulation and a pretty good teaching tool if you want to learn how to, to play the guitar. Uh, in that the buttons are easy to press, you don't have to develop calluses. So the left hand has buttons to simulate the, the left hand sort of chord positioning. You can play G chords, A chords, single notes, whatever. For the right hand or strumming hand, um, we actually have six simulated strings that will pick up um, where you pluck and translate that data into the game. So you can play chords, single notes, two notes, and we know where your hand is and what you're playing and can use that information to help you learn how to play guitar. It's pretty powerful and it's pretty awesome. Compared to like, you know, the entry level kind of action on a real guitar. This is, it's actually pretty easy, you know, it's like you don't have to worry about tuning or strings or calluses or any of that stuff. It's really, you just sort of press the button and, and go. And we work with Fender to come up with a, with a great shape for the button guitar and, and one of the historical Fender entry-level guitars is the Fender Mustang. And so we decided, and along with our partners at Fender, that the Mustang shape would be like a really cool shape. I'm going making a, uh, a specially built Fender Stratocaster with, uh, with some fingerboard technology that will allow us to sense, you know, again, your left hand positioning and strum the strings, we'll detect which strings you strum. And we push all that information into the console and, and you can play on a Fender Strat or, or a very a modified Fender Strat. Part of enabling a real guitar into the game actually dictates that we, we create a brand new way to build fingerboards or the, the area of the guitar that has the frets on it. This is a fully functioning guitar, right? It's got pickups, Absolutely. it's got the whole... Pickups, audio outputs, volume pots, you know, strings. So you're playing the game, you're pace. like doing your thing, and then you decide that you want to actually plug into an amp and play the song that you've been playing. Like yeah. That's sort of the realization of Rock Band Pro in a nutshell is, you know, oh, play the game, plug in the amp, play the song and you know that's that's a pretty powerful thing. Both uh, both pro guitars work equally well in the game. Um, it's just players preference as to what they want to play. The core guitars or the the legacy peripherals that we make now um, still function just as well as they did in Rock Band 2 and Rock Band 1 and Rock Band 3. Uh, so if you want to play a guitar game you can still play with the existing core peripherals that are out in the market and that we're still selling. We're trying to kind of innovate in new space but also make sure that we are respectful of the investment that people have made. Hey. 